Welcome to Keeping Up with the Capitals, where we feature Prince George's only female major midget hockey team. My name is Caden Fanshawe, and this week we feature Capitals defenseman, number 12, Caitlin White. Uh, we're here with Keeping Up with the Capitals, defenseman number 12, Caitlin White. What's your best feature in your play? Um, I'm definitely an offensive D-man, but I still know how to protect the house. My past years of playing with older girls have definitely made me build my confidence in rushing the puck and then creating more offense, but still being able to play very defensively in our own end. All right, so being an older girl now on the team, what kind of things do you help the young girls out with? Um, definitely being younger, you have less confidence and you're more scared on the ice, I guess you could say. So just making them feel like they are at home and they have nothing to be scared of. All right, so take me through your pregame warm-up. What's going through your head? Um, I don't like to overthink things. Like, I think hockey is, I play better when I'm having fun, and I'm not, not that I'm not taking it seriously, but, like, I just like to have fun. And, yeah, I don't know, I get into the music, but still be able to visualize what I'm going to do that game, how I'm going to do it. Yeah. So you play female major midget league now. How many years have you been playing hockey for? Um, I've been playing hockey for coming on to my ninth year, I think, my eighth year. I started playing boys hockey, and then when I moved to Prince George two years ago, I played girls hockey. All right, so take me through the transition. Boys hockey, there's some contact involved there. Girls hockey, obviously not as much. How has the uh, transition gone? Um, it's gone pretty well. I don't know, when I first started playing girls, it definitely was like, whoa. Like, it was a lot less rough than boys, but I mean, I def definitely think playing boys hockey gave me an advantage to being able to play aggressively and be able, being able to take the aggressiveness. Coming from Terrace into the city of Prince George, what's the difference? Um, the school for sure is bigger. The school system from we went elementary school, middle school, high school in, in Terrace and here is just high school. So that was a big difference but it was nice because I was going into high school here so I was able to make my friends and then from hockey I had friends as well. Alright so balancing hockey and school, not the easiest job in the world, how do you do it? Um, I think I do a pretty good job at it. Um, I'm pr pretty good at multitasking and I work hard at both things and hard work pays off in the end so and I also have the help of my dad and my mom and my brother being in some of my classes it's nice for him to be able to help me catch up so. Would you say multitasking uh, adds to the hockey game as well? Yeah definitely does. <laughs> as a defenseman is there anyone that you model your play style after in the NHL elsewhere? Um, No not really I just over like one player I would probably model myself over Connor McDavid because his speed is what I would set my goals to just as an overall player because having speed as a defenseman would help a lot rushing it in but also back checking, yeah, catching that player. You're an offensive defenseman, not a forward. How come you play defense? Um, so long story short, when I was younger, starting hockey, I started later than some people. I was playing forward. I really wanted to play defense, but I couldn't really skate backwards. So I asked my coach, begged and begged, and he was like, when you can skate backwards, you can play defense. So that kind of pushed me to play defense, just wanting to get my way. So you couldn't skate backwards very well. Is there some people out there who helped you do that? Oh yeah, for sure. My dad put my brother and I through a lot of hockey camps throughout the summer. And thanks to him and all those really helpful coaches and training, it made me the player I am today. So what kind of role does your dad play in your hockey career? Um, he plays a really, really big role. My dad played hockey his life growing up. And he is the one who got my brother into hockey, myself into hockey. And he's always there to watch my games, watch my practices, and have really helpful, constructive criticism afterwards. That definitely is a huge part of the player I am today as well. So you talk about your brother. Is there any specific parts of your game you mirror after him? Um, yeah, I mean, we shoot pucks together, we stick handle together. Competitiveness between us really pushes me and also pushes him. But I mean, obviously he wins a lot of the time, but yeah. So if there's some young defensemen watching out there, what's some advice you'd give them? I don't know, don't get your head down when you're beat that one time in the corner or that one-on-one -on -one or that two-on-one. -on -one. Look back at it and think of it as a learning curve. Pineapples on pizza, yes or no? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this episode of Keeping Up with the Capitals. For all things Capitals, find us on Facebook.